Over to California now, where wildfires have forced more than 8,000 people from their homes. The Apple Fire has now burned more than 20,000 acres in Southern California, sending smoke as far as Tucson, Arizona. And three fires in Northern California are now so big they're visible from space. ABC's Serene Shah is in Cherry Valley for us. Serene, what's the latest? Hi, Diane. We're learning overnight that only 5% of this fire is contained. Now, this home burned down two days ago, but you can still see parts of it smoldering right behind me. Overall, this entire fire still completely out of control. Now, this is the only home that we've seen burned down, but there are thousands of homes out there still threatened. And Zareen, I know you've spoken with some of the residents who had to evacuate. How is the pandemic affecting that? Diane, it has been so hard for them. We spoke to a couple yesterday. One man was in his 90s. His wife was in her late 80s. They are really struggling with this. They had no place to go. They had a hard time accessing the medication they needed. We spoke to another mother who had a one-year-old toddler. They were sleeping in their car from the night before because they couldn't find a hotel room. There was no one to take them in. Um, they were just really struggling with dealing with this, with so many things going on, triple-digit heats, dealing with the pandemic, and now this explosive fire on top of that, get this, there's suspicion that this could be uh, started by an arsonist. There are arson investigators on the scene. They're trying to figure out exactly what caused this fire. So there's that added anger that some of them are feeling that this might have not even been started because of natural causes. That's terrible. And we also know firefighters are out there. They're working tirelessly to try to get this thing under control. Any progress? You know what, so far, just 5% contained. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually improvement from the last couple of days. Initially, the first 24 hours, it was 0% contained. But firefighters are saying that this could take days to get under control. Yeah, they have a lot of work ahead of them. Let's hope the weather will help them out. Zareen Shah, we appreciate the update. Stay safe. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.